Hello there, God bless everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special day, because I am going to show you guys a wonderful animation movie. In this animation movie, you will learn the word of God. By the way, this movie is Christian, so this movie contains Christian related content. Here everyone can learn who God really is, especially, why God, our Heavenly Father is so important, and why we need Him in our lives. Also, in this movie, we will learn about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Because the truth is, God is real. And the Bible which is the true word of God, has evidence that He is 100% exists. God is real my friends. He loves you so much. Now, before this wonderful movie starts, I would like to say, that Jesus Christ, died for us. He shed His precious blood, wiped our sins, and He can change anyone who accepts Him into their hearts. Jesus can change your heart. Accept Jesus Christ, before it's too late. The truth is, my friends, is that He is coming soon. There isn't that much time left. So, let's read this powerful Bible verse. On this blue screen, you guys, it's very important that everyone learns the truth. Anyways, on to the Bible verse of the day. The Bible says, God is my salvation, I will trust, and will not be afraid. For the Lord God, is my strength, and my song. You can find this Bible verse in the book of Isaiah, chapter 12 verses 2. Very powerful word from the Bible. Anyways, let's read the next one. Since you were precious in my sight, you have been honored, and I have loved you. Therefore I will give men for you, and people for your life. You can find this verse, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verses 4. Amen my brothers, God loves each one of us. Anyways, kids, the ones who are watching on this screen, right now, God is a wonderful person. He loves you guys, accept Jesus Christ into your hearts today, and He will protect each one of you. Remember, kids, God is 100% real. He is watching us from heaven. Amen? Hallelujah. We sure love Jesus. Anyways, you guys, now that the Christian movie is about to start, I hope you learned something new when I'm gone. And don't forget to like and share this animation movie. I hope you learned something new today during the video. Anyways, enjoy the movie you guys. God bless. Hello there, my brothers and sisters of Christ. Welcome to another Sunday service. Thank you for coming to God's wonderful house. Today we will worship the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, God has a miracle for us this morning. Jesus loves you. The Bible says that Jesus is the only way to heaven. He died on the cross and his precious blood. He gives us eternal life. Without Jesus, we wouldn't be here as of today. So, we are here today to say, Thank you Lord, for all of your blessings. We worship you, O oh God. In the almighty name of Jesus Christ, the only Son of the Heavenly Father. We love you Jesus, we pray that this service will be another blessing for our members, especially, our brothers and sisters of Christ. God bless the Philippines. God bless us all. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you Lord. Okay, my brothers and sisters. We have a new friend, who is here with us today. His name is Isaac Kid. Thank you for coming, my friend. God loves you so much. It's a pleasure, to have you in God's house. What a blessing. Thank you so much, my friend, Pastor, Christ Follower TV for having me at this beautiful looking church. By the way, I got to say, that I am so happy to be in God's house. It really makes me feel like home. I love you guys. You are like a second family to me. What a wonderful place for everyone to worship our Heavenly Father. God bless everyone here. Amen. Glory Jesus. Hallelujah. God is good. My brother, call began. Mega love shout out to everyone who is watching us right now. May God bless you. Amen. That's right my brother. We are God's perfect family. Anyways my friend, I am so happy to be here, once again. So today, I will be singing a song. It is a beautiful music. Oh my, 
How sweet of you. Everyone to hear a worship song. In that case, I shall leave you to it. May God continue to bless you my friend. Let's hear you sing to Jesus. Hello there guys. This is Isaiah Kid here. Meg loves shout out to everyone who is here with us today. I am so happy to be in God's house once again. Anyways my friends, today I will be singing a worship song with the best music. So let's worship the Holy Ghost because today is a very special day to us. Let's get the party started. Amen. God bless us all. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Yahoo. Oh boy, I love this place. I never been to a place like this before. I like going to church now. God is real, and so does the Holy Spirit. God will make me a better person. I really want to change for real this time. I shall accept Jesus Christ as my personal savior. That way, I can become a Christian. I deserve a new life. Be born again. Yahoo. You made the right choice, classic Caillou. I am so happy that you decided to become a good boy, instead of a troublemaker. God is real, and he can change anyone. I have to agree on that one. I will make lots of new friends here. God really loves me. I love church now. It's way better for me. No more troublemaker. I am a good boy for now on. Hey, you are not allowed to be in church. You oddly. You are supposed to be at your house. You are still a troublemaker. I hate you so much. Get out of my church. Now. What is your problem? I didn't do anything to you. Please don't bring up my past. I already changed. There is no reason for you to act like that. This is God's house, not yours. Ah, uh, excuse me. John Paul, why are you starting drama? You know that drama isn't allowed in God's house. You really need to chill bro. Don't hey, you have to love others. Alright. Shut up. Way Nathaniel, the chin chong. Get your nose out of it. It's none of your freaking business. I was talking to classic Caillou, not you. Let me talk to him. How dare you use naughty words in church and speak to me in that manner. That kind of language is strictly prohibited in God's house. I think you are possessed. My friend, I will get the pastor, and the church leaders. This isn't you. You need help, but don't worry. I will be back. Well, 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 if it isn't that stupid loser who decided to show up at my stupid church today. None of this would happen. Now great, I am in trouble because of you. John Paul. Bro, you need to calm down. The past is already in the past. I'm a different person now. God said to love others, not hate. What has gotten into you lately? You were not like this before. And besides, you are starting a drama war in God's house. You seriously need some help, buddy. Shut up. I don't give a crap about what you say. Handle hate and deal with it. I don't care about what God said or whatever you say. That is complete bullcrap. You are a bad boy. Come on, you need to calm down. You are acting like a toddler. You can't just hate people. It's not cool. You can get in trouble for doing that. You have to follow God's rules. Shut up. I said, shut up. Nobody cares about you anymore. Now get out of my stupid church or I will beat you up. You piece of crap. You are not welcome here. I hate you so much. You are going way too far. You need help. You need to stop acting this way. You have to be nice to others. Drama is going to make things worse. Please respect God's rules. John Paul, you were brainwashed. My friend, you need help. Let us pray for you. 
I think there is a demon that is controlling your body. You need to be set free from the anger. Wait a second, you are right. Pastor. I think he is being brainwashed again. He has a demon. He needs deliverance, the enemy is taking over his body. Let's get him help. Shut up. All of you are ugly rats. I want us at Caillou out of my stupid church. This is my church, you hear me? You ugly ducks. Duck that ugly rat. Right now. Shoo. Shoo shoo. Shoo. It's going to be okay, John Paul. We are going to get you some help. Now let's get you to the pulpit, so we can pray for you. That demon isn't allowed here. Yeah, he needs help. Let's pray for him, so he can feel better. This is getting out of control. I really don't like this drama. You uglies, get the heck off of me. All of you are ducks. Let go of me. I swear that I will destroy this church, once I treat Isaiah Kid like a baby. I will die for him and Bingy. Shoo shoo. Shoo shoo. Shoo shoo. Shoo. It's going to be okay, buddy. We will get those evil demons out of your body. You will feel much better, I promise. We are here to save you. Shoo shoo. Shoo. It's okay. Now we will remove these clothes, since they are stinky. We will put your new clothes on, big boy. We'll feel much better. Let's pray for you, buddy. You demon, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You have no authority over John Paul's body. Come out of his body, right now. In Jesus' name, the power of Christ, set John Paul free. Shoo shoo. It's okay. You are safe now. Now we will put your new, big boy, clothes on buddy. You are a big boy now. Then it's off to big boy school. There, all nice and clean. Now that you have musky musk, and your fresh new, big boy, clothes on, we will take you to big boy school. Let's get you ready to start the day, buddy. Okay, you big boy. Let's get you to my classroom. It's going to be okay, buddy. You are safe now. Good morning, my brothers and sisters of Christ. Welcome back to God's house. It's so great to see you guys once again. Mega love shout out to everyone who is present today. I am so excited to start another Sunday service. Anyways, my brothers and sisters, today is a very special day, because last week, we have a new member who will be joining us today. For now on, his name is Classic Caillou. He is from the USA, who came back to visit our church. He will be giving us a powerful message about his testimony, how Jesus Christ changes his life for the better. The Lord did a wonderful miracle in him. He changed, and now he is a completely different person, transformed into a newborn Christian again. Glory Jesus, the Almighty God who does miracles in children. He is the same today, yesterday, and tomorrow. God will transform anyone who accepts him as his personal savior. Oh there he is. It's our new friend, our new church member, who is our brother in Christ. Classic Caillou, Anderson. May God continue to bless him, and guide him in Jesus' name. Good morning, Pastor Sammy. Thank you for having me here. I am so happy to be in God's house, but I got to say, that Jesus Christ, is the only way for everyone to enter heaven. Amen. That's the spirit, my brother. God is the only way to heaven. And look at you, my brother. You are a completely different person. I really love your new outfit. It makes you look handsome. You look like a servant of God. I am so excited that you were finally here with us. May the Lord bless your new heart. Thank you so much, my dear brother in Christ. 
My wonderful pasta, I feel like I am a completely different person now. Now that I am a born Christian, I will worship Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says, that whoever accepts Jesus Christ as their personal savior, they shall receive eternal life. That means whoever accepts him will become born again. Jesus is the only way, but the true way to heaven. Glory to God. We shall love Jesus, every single day of our lives. Amen. Remember, our Lord is watching us from heaven. Amen. That is right my brother. Jesus Christ is the only true way to heaven. So that's where we go to when we die. We enter the kingdom of God, which is heaven. Anyways, may God continue to bless you heart. More blessings to come this year. Now before we start the church service, we will pray for you. So God can do a miracle today. Amen. Now that's a fantastic idea. I will absolutely need some prayer, my brother. May the Lord bless me and everyone who is with us today. Let's pray. Dear Almighty God, we are here today to start another service at your wonderful house, O Lord. I pray that you do a miracle in our brother, Classic Caillou, and that you continue to help him in the right path, in the right direction, O Lord. Help my brother do your will, that he can deliver your message Father. Whoever belongs to God, here's what God says. John 8 verses 47. The word of Christ, declares that we shall obey God's commandments and serve him always. We pray that everyone, who is watching this, right now, that God is the only way to heaven. O oh, Heavenly Father, continue to bless my brother, and that you protect him with the angels from heaven. Thank you Lord, for hearing our prayers, and that you continue to bless our ministry, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thanks for the prayer, brother. That was powerful. What a blessing. You're welcome brother. Anytime. Anyways, now that the church service is going to start, may God bless you and deliver the message that God gives you, my friend. Amen. I sure will, Pastor. Thanks. Good morning, my brothers and sisters of Christ. May God bless this beautiful church which is God's house. I am so happy to be here once again. As you can see, I am wearing different clothes. Well, actually, these will be my new clothes for now on. So every time that I come to God's house, I will be wearing these clothes for now on. I mean, Anyways, let's begin our Sunday service. We will be reading God's word. Today is a very special day according to the Lord. Which means today is Sunday, where we worship, the living God, which is our Heavenly Father, our perfect God. But, not just Sunday, the Word of God declares that we should be worshipping God, every single day of our lives. Amen. Glory to God. That's the Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to the Lord, who is watching us from heaven. That we shall be doing God's will at all times according to the Bible. Oh, I can feel the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. The Bible says, that, the same power that raised Christ from the dead, is the same living in you. You can find this Bible verse at Romans, chapter 8 verses 11, Amen. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life, whoever believes in me will live, even though they die. Everyone who lives and believes in me, will never die. Do you believe this, says the Lord, quote, you can find this Bible verse at John, chapter 11, verses 25 and 26. Amen my brother, that is the word of God. Keep preaching brother. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him, should not perish, but have eternal life, quote, you can find this powerful Bible verse. In the book of John Paul, chapter 3 verses 16. Amen my brothers, Jesus Christ, died on the cross, and shed his precious blood. For every one of us, his precious blood is powerful, but so powerful, that his precious blood cleans us from our sins. Without the shedding of blood, 
there is no forgiveness of sins. Quote, Hebrews, chapter 9 verse 22, says the Lord. As you can see, my brothers and sisters of Christ, our God is a true living God, the Lord that does miracles in us, He is the same God, yesterday, today, and tomorrow, He is alive, He is still alive, can you believe that? Jesus Christ died in the cross, He shed His precious blood for us, cleaned us from our sins, even though we are sinner, but He forgives us, from our sins, He rised from the cross, and He resurrected and he is still alive as of today. God is still alive, he is waiting for you with his open arms to accept him, as your personal savior. He loves you, and he loves each one of us. Let Jesus Christ enter your heart, and he will transform your life, and you shall become born again. It's free. Amen. Amen my brother, what a powerful message from the Lord. Keep preaching my brother, you are doing great. The Lord is doing a miracle right now. Hallelujah. You ugly. I hate you so much. I'm going to kick you, you piece of crap. Why the heck are you doing here inside of this stupid church? I will destroy this church. You are a duck. You have a demon. My friend, you are brainwashed by the enemy. The devil is real. But don't worry, we will pray for you. You will feel much better. Let's get that demon out of you now. Get away from me, you ugly. I swear that I will destroy the stupid church. Once I beat your ugly face up. I hate you so much. Now do what I say, or I will. Shoo 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 You demon, you have no authority over God's house. In the power of Christ, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Swearing isn't allowed in God's house. Let's pray. Oh no. Not the Holy Cross. Oh shoot, I'm busted. I better escape. What the? What happened to me? Why am I on the floor? What's going on? Shoo shoo, shoo, it's okay, you are safe now, my friend, you got brainwashed by that demon, it's over buddy. Don't worry brother Bunso, the demon is gone now. That ugly demon, is casted into the lake of fire. You're safe now. Shoo, it's okay buddy. Hello there, my brothers and sisters of Christ. Welcome to another church service, at God's beautiful house. Thank you all for coming, may God bless our friends here. Today is Friday, and it is 7 o'clock, which it is night time already in our area. Today is the day, that we will be starting our prayer service. So we will be praying for others. Anyways, before we start the service tonight, I will be reading a very powerful Bible verse, from the Word of God, which is in the Bible. Let's read this Bible verse, it says, Let my prayer stand before, you like incense, let my uplifted hands be like the, evening offering. You can find this powerful Bible verse, in the book of Psalms, chapter 141, verses 2. The book of Psalms, contains a lot of prayers, prayer is very powerful. When you pray to Jesus, Christ, our Heavenly Father, Amen, the Lord will hear you. Anyways my brothers and sisters, we will be starting our powerful church service tonight. We will pray for the people, who do not know our Heavenly Father. The people who are in the world, the people who don't know who Jesus Christ is, that is what we will be praying for, those who are not saved, amen my brothers, remember, the devil exists and the demons are real, we have to be the light of this world, and rebuke evil spirits, those people are brainwashed by the enemy. Anyways, my brothers and sisters of Christ, 
There will be a preacher for tonight's service. His name is Classic Caillou, known as his real name, Brian Anderson. And there he is. Let's give our preacher a big round of applause. Thank you for having me once again, Pastor, Sammy. I am so honored to do God's will tonight. What a blessing to be in the Lord's house. Glory to Jesus, our Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen. That's the spirit, classic Caillou. I am so happy that you were obeying God and doing His wonderful will. God is going to do miracles in our ministry tonight. Hallelujah. Amen my brother. But please, call me Brian Anderson. That's my real name. Classic K.R.U. is my old nickname. Since I am a Christian, I should be called by my real name. Amen. You are right, my brother. That nickname, Classic K.R.U. is from your old life, but that's in the past. For now on, you will be called Brian. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. My brothers and sisters of the church, let's give our brother, Brian Anderson, another big round of applause. Glory to the Lord. Wow, thank you so much my brother. I can see that there is a lot of people here today. I can't believe what God is going to do in this church tonight, but I got to say, that God is going to do great things in this ministry, and the Bible says, in the book of Peter, the first book of Peter, chapter 5 verses 7, cast all of your anxiety on him, because, he cares for you. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord, Jesus be with you, says the word of God. Amen. You can find this powerful Bible verse, in the book of Romans, chapter 16 verses 20. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. Quote, you can find this Bible verse, in the second book of Timothy, chapter 1 verses 7. Amen, amen. Amen, glory to the Almighty God. Hallelujah, we love you, Jesus. Those are very powerful Bible verses you delivered from the Bible. Amazing memory you have there, brother. Okay, my brothers and sisters, we will now start this powerful Bible service. Your brother, Brian Anderson, will be delivering a powerful sermon for tonight. May God bless him. Good evening, my brothers and sisters of Christ. What another great blessing to be in God's house tonight. Today we will be doing the prayer service. Amen. Glory to the Almighty. Of the Most High, our Heavenly Father, who is our Lord, our personal Savior, and He is also our perfect Doctor of all doctors, who does miracles. Hallelujah. He is our everything. The Holy Ghost is here. The Holy Ghost is in this church. Hallelujah. I can feel the Spirit of God, in this ministry. I adore Jesus Christ. We shall love Him with our hearts. Amen. Let's pray. Because God is about to do a huge miracle in His church. O oh Lord, I can see angels pouring from heaven. Hallelujah. You are me. I will put this diaper on you. How dare you betray me, and become a Christian. Become a troublemaker right now. Or I will make you become a baby again. You big baby. Oh my god. Dave, are you crazy right now? Why would you threaten that pastor and the church leaders with baby stuff? That's highly inappropriate. You seriously need some help. Don't worry, Sister Catherine. Your husband is actually possessed by a demon. He has a childish spirit, the babying spirit. That's not from God, but from the devil. He needs some serious deliverance. God is saying that he has a demon, which treats people like babies. That is not from God. The devil isn't happy you guys. Let's pray for him. No. I don't need deliverance. You guys will do what I say. 
I will destroy this stupid church, then I will treat classic Caillou. Like a baby. He needs to be a baby, diaper for him. Excuse me. You ugly demon. But you don't have any authority inside of God's house. You will not do such a thing, to harm our brothers. Babying is evil, I rebuke you in Jesus name. Yes. I am a demon. So what? I can do whatever the heck I want, now that what I say. Or I will destroy this church. Take your pants off, so I can put this diaper on your bum. Shoo 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 You demon, I rebuke you in Jesus name, nonsense. I demand you to come out of Dave's body right now. You are exposed, you demon, come out now. You ugly demon, we rebuke your dirty mouth in the name of Jesus. The Holy Cross, which is the power of God, will expose you to light. You have no right to be in this body. Come out of Dave's body, in the name of Jesus. Come out. Now. You ugly demon. You heard my brother, Marcos. Get out of Dave's body, this very instant. You have no authority to be inside of that body. You belong in hell. Come out. Now. Oh no. Not the Holy Cross. I am going to escape. No oh 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 Shoo 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 shush Be quiet demon You are commanded to leave this body Get out Now What happened to me? And how did I end up on the floor? Where am I? Shoo shoo, it's okay, you had a demon, my friend, you are set free from the evil powers of the enemy, you are back to normal, praise God. Oh my godness, Dave, you're back to normal, I am so happy that I got my husband back. Thank you lord, my husband won't be childish anymore, this is a miracle. Catherine, my sweet loving wife, I am so happy to finally meet you again. I didn't know I had a demon, but thank gosh. That evil spirit is gone now. I am set free by Jesus Christ. That's right my brother, you are set free from all wickedness. Would you like to accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior and become a newborn Christian? It's free. Yes, I do. I will accept Jesus Christ as my personal savior. I shall become a true Christian. Yes Lord. This is going to be the best day of my life. Thank you Jesus. For saving my husband. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning my brothers and sisters of Christ. Welcome to another Sunday service. Today is going to be a special day. We will have a preacher today. Amen. Who is going to preach the gospel, the word of God. Our best friend, our brother, Isaiah Kidd, from New York, USA. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is always good. But, before we start our next church service, I will be reading a powerful Bible verse. So let's get our Bibles, and we will read what the Lord says in this Bible verse of today. Amen. Glory to Jesus. We will be reading the Bible verse that the pastor will be sharing with us today. Anyways, let's begin reading the Bible. Okay, so now that we have our Bibles ready, let's begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, here is the word of the day. The Lord is my strength, and my shield. My heart trusts Him, I was helped, my heart rejoiced, and I thank Him with my song. You can find this Bible verse, in the book of Psalms, chapter 28 verses 7. Amen my brothers. Alright let's continue. Amen. Let's continue my brothers and sisters. Even though I walk through the valley, of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
You can find this Bible verse, in the book of Psalms, chapter 23 verses 4. Let's continue Hallelujah! Nothing can defeat you because God, is with you. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Amen! Glory to the Almighty! You can find this powerful Bible verse, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 51 verses 7. Okay my brothers and sisters, we will finally begin our Sunday church service. Hallelujah! Praise God! Remember my brothers and sisters, God is watching us from heaven. Amen! So our brother Isaiah Kid will be sharing the gospel today. May God bless him, and continue being the instrument of the Almighty High. Jesus Christ is real guys. Hello there, my brothers and sisters of Christ. Today is going to be another special day, to begin our Holy Sunday service. Remember guys, the Church of God, belongs to Jesus. Anyways, let's begin this service. Amen. God loves all of us, and so does Jesus Christ, the Son of our Heavenly Father, who is our Lord and Savior. God is waiting for us, to do His will. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died on the cross. He shed His precious blood for all of us. In His precious blood, we wiped us from our sins. He forgave us, because He really loves us. He is the only one who can change us, when we accept Jesus Christ. As our personal and only Savior, Jesus Christ will clean our hearts, renew our minds, He will give us a new heart, we will become born again, as Christians. Christians is a term, that describes, followers of Jesus Christ. We become Christians, Jesus Christ is a perfect doctor, but the most powerful doctor of all doctors. Hallelujah! He is our Heavenly Father who is still alive as of today. He lives forever, and ever, the God of yesterday, is the same God of today who will become the God of tomorrow and so on. We still worship the same one truly God. He is still alive. And his name is Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's right my brother. Our Heavenly Father is the same God of yesterday, today and tomorrow. God never changes. He is still the same Lord. Hallelujah. Amen my pastor. Our Lord is the most perfect God what we can have. Not only that, but he is considered our Heavenly Father, the Creator of humanity. He created humans for a reason, and that reason is so that they can worship their Creator. And that Creator of everything is Jesus Christ, the true living God. God, is waiting for the unsaved people, with his open arms, so that they receive him as their personal Savior. Jesus Christ can change everyone who is willing to accept him in their hearts. Jesus can change them. So, if you read this sign at the left corner, it says that Jesus Christ will change anyone who is willing, to accept them as their personal savior, in their hearts. Amen. I totally agree with that message here. That is absolutely correct. Jesus Christ will change any person, who is willing to accept him as their personal savior. Praise God. That's the spirit my brother. Now, let's read our Bibles again. I will be reading some Bible verses, and I will be discussing what is the meaning of each Bible verse. Amen? Oh glory to the Lord! Hallelujah! Let's get out our Bibles again guys! The preacher is going to read some Bible verses, so listen carefully, my brothers and sisters. Alright my brothers and sisters of the church, let's begin our teaching. Remember you guys, God is watching us, so let's all be obedient to God's message, the Word of God. The Bible says, Sing to the Lord, for He has done excellent things. Let this be known in all, the earth. You can find this Bible verse, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 12, verses 5. Amen my brothers, praise God, if you agree with the word of God. What is the meaning of this Bible verse? Well, in my own definition, it means that you have to praise the Lord by worshipping Him with songs. Share what God has done in your life. Worship Him, every day. When you sing to the Lord, He will hear you from heaven. Singing to the Lord is a way to worship God. God loves when His children sing to Him. That is why, my brothers and sisters, we have to worship our Heavenly Father, which is our Lord, Jesus Christ, our personal Savior. We have to testify, 
what God has done in our lives. When we share our testimonies, God will bless us. When we share what God is doing to our family, He will bless us more. When we keep obeying our Lord, He is going to do a miracle by answering our prayers, and so on. Obedience is a key to heaven. We have to love others, because God is love. Amen, amen. That's right, my brother. Obedience is the key for heaven. When we obey the Holy Spirit, that means we are also obeying God's word. Hallelujah. Praise our Lord. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Anyways, my brothers and sisters, let's read the next Bible verse. Then I will show you what this Bible verse really means. Praise our Lord Almighty. The Bible says, For this is how God brought in the world. He gave His one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him, will not perish, but have eternal life. You can find this powerful Bible verse in the book of John, chapter 3, verses 16. Alright my brothers? So here is the definition in my own words. God loves every one of us. He is waiting for the unsaved people to accept Him in their hearts. You have to believe in Jesus Christ. Follow this path, and you will be saved. Amen? When they accept Jesus Christ as their only Savior, and say, that Jesus Christ died on the cross for them, shed his precious blood, Jesus resurrected, Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, glory to the Almighty from heaven, hallelujah. Hallelujah praise the Lord. That is right my dear brother. Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life. Glory to the Almighty. Hallelujah, God loves each one of us. Amen. That's right. Whoever is willing to accept Jesus Christ as their only personal Lord and Savior, come up to the altar, and we will pray for you. Remember, God's love is always free. Father, we are here to pray for our brother, who today, accepted you as his only savior, and that you do a miracle in his life. Help him, O oh Lord, so that he can share the word of the Almighty. Father, I thank you for this powerful message that was delivered in this service today. Thank you Jesus, for everything you've done today. Bless this young boy. We love you Jesus. God loves children. He loves kids. The children are the future of tomorrow according to your word. Bless the boy and help him do your will. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Receive your blessing from the Almighty. In Jesus' name. My young brother in Christ. God loves you, buddy. Receive your blessing. Hallelujah. There you go, buddy. Now, you look like a big boy. You're a big kid now. Good morning, my brothers and sisters of Christ. Welcome to another church service. I am so glad that you all came to God's house today. Thank you for coming, guys. Anyways, today will be a very special day today. The great news for our church is that we will be starting the kids and youth services this Sunday and for now on. So, starting every Sunday, including today, all of the kids and youth will be going upstairs to start their Bible classes. They will learn more about who our Heavenly Father is. They will also learn a word of God. The teachers will give them Bible verses so they can memorize and study the word of God. God sure loves kids, especially our youth. Are you guys excited that your children will be starting their own Bible classes? Because, I sure am really excited. Let's give Jesus Christ a big round of applause. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are sure excited to bring our kids to their first Bible classes. God is going to bless our ministry, and we are expanding. All kids belong to God. Alright my brothers and sisters of the church, 
Our first teacher that we hired, will be classic Caillou. Known by his real name, Brian Anderson. Let's give our brother a applause. Okay, my dear brother. Since God called you to become the youth and kids teacher. God is going to bless you, I know that you are going to do amazing things in our ministry. The Lord will help you and guide you. He is going to work in you, where God is going to use you as his instrument. The kids will love you as their teacher. Thank you so much, my dear pastor and brother. I am willing to do my job according to God's will. I will be an amazing teacher and send good examples to the kids. Especially, the older kids known as the youth. God loves children, and the Lord wants us to set great examples to the kids of this church. But count on me, brother. I will make sure, that every single kid, of all ages, will get the best education, they need this year. They are going to love having me as their Bible teacher. May God bless this ministry. Amen. Amen that's right, my brother. I wish you great success in becoming the first, Kids Bible Teacher. Congratulations. God will help you reach your goals, buddy. Amen. Praise the Lord Almighty. Hallelujah. Let's give our Lord, a big round of applause. What a blessing to be in God's house. Hallelujah. It is a pleasure to have you in our ministry. I knew that God called you to join this church. Anyways, have fun teaching the kids. They are upstairs waiting for you brother. Thanks pastor. Anyways, I have to go now. The kids are sure waiting for me. See you after church service, my dear brother. Amen. I will check on you later. See you after church service upstairs. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Alright, my brothers and sisters. Now that our brother is going upstairs to start the Bible study class, the next teacher that God called in this ministry is also here with us. Let's give our brother, Isaiah you kid, a big round of applause, everyone. Thank you so much, Pastor, my dear brother in Christ. I am so happy to be starting their Bible study classes, starting this Sunday. The youngest kids of this church will be coming with me upstairs. I have a special classroom where I will be starting their classes. It's all about story time and lots of fun stuff there. How exciting news. They are going to love me having them as their Bible teacher. What a great blessing from our Heavenly Father. That's right, my dear brother. This is going to be amazing news for them. God called you to be the Bible teacher in the youngest age group, the babies of this church. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Let's give God another big round of applause. Wow, now that was a big one. I cannot wait to start my first Bible study class. Anyways, where are the kids, my dear brother in Christ? Oh, I almost forgot, buddy. The younger kids are also upstairs waiting for you. They are so happy to meet you. They will love having you as their teacher. Hallelujah. Oh, that's right. How silly of me. In that case, I shall head upstairs and get the kids started on their first day of Bible school. Praise God. Amen. That's the spirit, my dear brother. I wish you best of luck, as their teacher. I will see you after church service, in a few hours. God bless. Thank you pastor. I will make sure, the youngest kids, will get the best education they need. God loves them. Anyways, I will see you later, after church service, my brother. See you later, my brother. God bless you. All right, my brothers and sisters of Christ. Now that all of the babies and kids are upstairs and will start their classes of Bible study, we are going to be starting our Sunday church service 
So let's get our Bibles and we will start reading the Word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay class, today is going to be a very special day for you guys. We will be starting our first day of Bible study school. Since I forgot your names, again, before we start our lesson, can you kids kindly introduce yourselves? Good morning, teacher. My name is Wayne Nathaniel, I am the friend of Isaiah Kid. it's great to meet you again. Good morning, teacher. My name is Flatfest Kid. I am new here. I love this place by the way. Hello there, teacher. My name is Justin Kid. You're a very cool and awesome boy. Oh, that was very nice of you, my dear brother, Justin Kid. I heard great things about you. As for you, Wayne Nathaniel, it's a pleasure to meet you. Same goes for you too, Splot Boy. God loves each one of you. All are awesome kids. Anyways, you guys, we will be learning about the Word of God. Each one of you will get free Bibles to take home for studying. Oh cool. I can't wait for this Bible study. I sure love church and God. Yahoo! Well, looks like we have a kid that is willing to listen to God's Word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Alright kids, let's begin our first day of Bible school together. Good morning, young kids. Welcome to our first day of Bible school. Here we will do lots of fun stuff together. How many of you like story time? God loves every one of you. Oh boy, I sure love story time. I love Jesus Christ. He is my best friend. I really love Bible school. It makes me happy being here. Oh that's awesome my friend. Here we will be learning about God's word. Anyways, since we will start our lesson, I will be telling you guys a cool story about Jesus Christ. Ah, and who do we have here? What a cute baby. I shall put him to sleep. I think the baby is tired, but I have a nice teddy bear for him. He looks cute in his binky. Yeah, Johnny Paul, sure loves church. He is still a baby, though. He will be the youngest kid in his classroom. That's right, Dylan, your little friend. Here is a cute baby. God loves babies, and I love babies too. Now, let's get this baby boy for his nap. Shoo shoo. Shoo shoo. Shoo. It's okay. Baby boy has to sleep now. Let's get you ready for nap time. Don't cry my little one. I will take good care of you. I think the baby needs changing. Teacher, he had an accident by now. In that case, I better change the baby's diaper. But don't worry, buddy. I will be back once I put this baby boy to sleep. He is very tired. Poor thing. Okay, my precious baby boy, it's time for the pastor to change your diaper. I can smell that you have a very stinky diaper. Babies like you have to be nice and clean. Shoo shoo. Shoo, it's okay, baby boy. Please don't be scared. Sweetheart, your daddy will come and pick you up soon. Now, you be a good baby boy, while the pasta changes that stinky diaper. Babies have to be clean, it's going to be okay. We will take good care of you buddy. Shoo, shoo shoo, shoo. It's going to be alright, my precious baby boy. You are still a baby, remember. Johnny Paul needs a fresh clean diaper. The pastor will protect you, goo goo. Oh how dare you throw that at me. You silly baby boy, you don't ever throw toys at the pastor. That's naughty. Now let's change that stinky diaper, come on. Be a good boy for me. You silly baby boy, no throwing your toys at the pastor. That's not nice. You have to be nice to grown-ups. 
Don't be naughty again, baby John Paul. It's time for a diaper change. Shoo 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 shoo. Don't worry, baby boy. I will change the diaper, and we will get you all cleaned up into a fresh, clean diaper. Come here. Come to the pasture, buddy. After the pastor changed the baby boy's diaper, he gave the baby boy some new clothes during church service. Let's see what happens in the next part of this story. Alright baby boy, it's time to put you back in the baby crib. Now leave your diaper on, and don't try to escape from us. Time to read you a story, so my baby boy can fall asleep. Shoo, shoo, shoo it's going to be okay baby boy. Please don't cry, sweetheart. The pastor will take good care of you. Time for playtime. Shoo shoo. Shoo shoo. Shoo it's going to be okay, baby boy. The pastor is going to read you a story. After the story, you will fall asleep. It's almost your nap time. Shoo. Okay buddy. Now that you were inside of the baby crib, I will be reading you a bedtime story. Today I am going to read you a wonderful story about Jesus Christ. He sure loves babies, just like you. Anyways, let's begin this story. Then it's nap time for you buddy. Once upon a time, there was a wonderful person named Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God. He is a very special person, who loves kids especially babies, all of the children, are created by God, which is our Heavenly Father, the Creator of humanity. Jesus Christ loves children, they are very special according to Him. Let all of the children, come to Jesus Christ, because children belong to Him. Jesus sure loves kids, the best teacher known to man, is Jesus Christ Himself, the best master according to the Bible. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible declares that let all of the children come to Jesus, because Jesus Christ will teach the kids wonderful things according to God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is our personal Savior, the only man in this world who can save anyone. Because Jesus Christ died for us, He shed His precious, wonderful blood for us. His precious blood cleaned us from our sins, Jesus Christ transforms us, and we all become born again as Christians. God is waiting for the unsaved people to return to Him, with His open arms. Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, is the only way to heaven. Whoever accepts Jesus Christ as their only personal Savior, will receive eternal life. According to God's Word, which is the Bible, God loves children, especially Jesus Christ. He also loves kids too. Let the children come to Jesus Christ, because they are created by God. Jesus Christ is the only person who can transform every one of us and change our ways. Let the children preach the gospel, sing to our Lord, and love others, because that is what God wants. He wants all children to be in the right direction, which is Jesus Christ. The kids are the future of tomorrow according to God's word. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, my pastor. That is a wonderful story book you have there. Let the children come to Jesus Christ, because he will teach them wonderful things. They all belong to him. God loves children, especially this baby boy that we have here. God loves kids. Praise Jesus Christ. We all love our beautiful teacher, Jesus Christ. Amen. That's right my brother. Jesus Christ loves kids, especially this baby boy. The kids of today, are the future of tomorrow. According to the Bible, all kids belong to Jesus. Oh, it looks like the baby boy, is getting very sleepy right now. I think he's tired. My brother in Christ, let's pray for him. So he will get the best sleep possible. Hallelujah. Now that's a fantastic idea, Pastor. Let's pray for the baby boy, before he falls asleep. Praise the Lord. After the pastor, 
and Brian Anderson, known as Classic Caillou, started praying for the baby boy. He started to fall fast asleep. What a cute baby boy, we have there. Let's see what happens in the next part of this story. Father, we are here today to pray for this precious baby boy. We thank you for this special day, O Lord. The Bible declares that let all of the children come to your Son, Jesus Christ. Oh, Heavenly Father, help this baby boy, Johnny Paul, get the best sleep possible, protect him with your guardian angels, O oh Lord, protect your children, hallelujah, so that they can follow your path, and that the guardian angels from heaven, help the innocent children so that they can follow you, every single day of their lives, hallelujah, the Bible declares that the parents should be teaching their kids, the word of God, so when they get older, and growing to teenagers beyond, they will stay in the right direction, which is Jesus Christ, their only teacher. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus loves children. God will answer your prayers, my brother. Keep going. O Lord, from heaven, I know you can hear me. Your servant is calling for protection for this wonderful baby boy. Protect him with your guardian angels, help him sleep peacefully, and that the baby boy can wake up, refreshed, let the baby boy sleep in peace. Thank you Lord, for this special day at your wonderful house. God bless our children, hallelujah, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wow my brother, that was a powerful prayer, you had there. I know that our Heavenly Father, will answer your prayer. God sure loves this baby boy. Oh look at the precious baby boy, he is all fast asleep. He is so cute, that I want to give him a big warm hug. Just look at that. I sure love babies, especially baby Johnny Paul. Amen. Glory to God. Jesus Christ sure loves this precious baby boy. Babies are created by God. Aren't they adorable? Anyways, let's leave him to sleep. His daddy will be here soon. Yeah, you're right. My brother, let's go back upstairs. His daddy will pick him up soon. What a long church service we had today. Hallelujah. We sure did my pastor his daddy will be here shortly to pick him up from work anyways let's get going we don't want to be late for our next church service today praise god thanks for watching what would you like to watch next a playlist of videos we'll take you to the next animation video god bless everyone see you guys later